All right, guys. All right. It is a chilly. It is a chilly uh, Thursday night here in the end times. In the middle of fucking nowhere. And I have no heat in this truck. <laughs> so now, uh, not only can I not turn my heater on, but I can't turn my air conditioner off. So I put it all the way on heat and I get ice cold air blowing out. So uh, this is the uh, technology disappearing. So uh, anyway, but it is a Thursday night. It is January 4th. 2023 so I am um, I am I am working hard on uh, manifesting my New Year's resolution to uh, get a woman in my life who actually wants to be in my life so I uh, came down here to this picking party out in the middle of nowhere to manifest a guitar picking hippie chick and I do not believe it <laughs> I'm not sure she's a hippie chick, but uh, I did meet a single guitar picking, folk singing, uh, something or other. Something tells me she's not a doomer chick, but she knows how to pick guitar. So wish me luck on all of that. And uh, so anyway, my my love life oh god okay so that's uh so I, I know you guys don't worry i i won't bore you with another dulcinea story although there is a humorous one i'm gonna pass on that one so anyway this is the one you guys will enjoy so you know this woman that i <laughs> that i uh met on pile of fish how long have she and I have been going out about a month. We've had like six or seven dates now and you know she came up and I cooked her Christmas dinner and all of this. So uh, you know I, I've never seen a romance going here anyway. I mean there, there, there's no fucking romance but I can tell that she's been making a little uh little girlfriend noises not now this woman is you know she is not a doomer chick but she's not a normie either she's one of these somewhere between doomer chick and normie and uh so anyway the probably the the biggest problem in our uh relationship is is our communication that uh, she thinks that I dominate the conversation. She thinks that I am a mansplainer. Uh, that uh, she is not looking for a monologue. She is looking for a dialogue. So it's like every time she asks me a fucking question, uh, I, I will be just starting to answer the fucking question and she will cut me off. She'll fucking cut me off and uh, and say, y y you know, dude, you can stick to the goddamn uh, point without running off down 16 fucking rabbit holes trying to answer a simple question. So this is obviously... Uh, for anyone who knows me, uh, obviously there, there's no chance for, for this relationship, but I have nobody else uh, since the, the woman I'm in love with doesn't want to be with me, and, and I have not had one other woman from Pile of Fish get so far as a phone call with me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, hanging out with her since there's nobody better but she has been other than uh the communication issue uh which she thinks that she can train me at age 64 not to be so long in the tooth as i think is that the word long in the tooth uh 
so anyway, she calls me last night. I've, I've got her a little bit trained uh, not to text me, but to actually uh, pick up a fucking telephone and call me. And if any other uh, Doomer chicks are listening to this who have telephones, maybe they can also pick up a fucking telephone and call me. But anyway, uh, so she calls me last night, and you know, the, the conversation just starts out kind of normal, and then the conversation turns to when... I am going back to New York. Uh, you know, how much longer I'm going to be down here. And, you know, I told her, you know, about me. I said, well, Donna, I said, I already told you I'm leaving in the middle of April. And so the first thing she suggests is what she will do is rent the trailer that I'm living in, she, you know, she also lives in a trailer, that she will just move in to my trailer. She will move in to my trailer. Well, no, it's not my trailer. It's Aaron's trailer. Uh, and, 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 like, hold it for the summer. And when I get back in November, I can just move in with her and we will just live together in the trailer and uh, so she she wants to know what I think about that idea and I'm uh, sitting there mumbling uh, trying to get the same what I think that we're gonna turn this into an Airbnb and blah 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 and she goes well she goes of course I could just come with you back to New York for the summer <laughs> This, this, this uh, oh God, uh, you know, and I'm going, what? Uh, I said, come with me to New York for the summer? And uh, so anyway, that conversation did not uh, last very long. You know, that, that, that held about as much interest to me as uh, suggesting to uh, Dulcinea that she come with me to New York for the summer. Uh, about the same level of enthusiasm when this woman who I've known for uh, like a month is suggesting uh, that she's just going to follow me back to, to New York and then we're going to come back and be roommates in the, in the damn trailer. So that did not go very well. And so then we started, you know, she wanted to start figuring out where we were going with the relationship. Where, okay, Sam, I, you know, where, where is this relationship going? Uh, she was a busy woman, and, and I said, do you want my honest opinion where this relationship is going? And she said, yeah, that's uh, what I want to know. And I said, well, my guess is, I said, th this is purely a, a wild guess, is that, uh, that I will get sick and fucking tired of you interrupting me every time I'm trying to talk to you. And you will get sick and tired of me interrupting you every time you talk. And uh, that we're, we're going to get tired of, of this little game and one of us is going, is, is going to ghost the other one. Well, that, oh good God, well that set off. Uh, so she let me know what she thought of spineless cowards who ghost women on these internet dating sites. And uh, so I'm thinking, okay, how can I get this woman to ghost me? So we're, we're talking about this. And here's what you, and, and I can't make this shit up. Here is what I, I, I said, you know, well, what exactly do you think 
that uh, we can do to work on this communication problem we're having with each other. And she told me that, that, this, that this is not a joke. She told me that when she asked me a question, whether she asked me a question or made some comment that I had 25 seconds. I had 25 seconds to answer the fucking question or to, you, you know, respond to her comment with my comment. I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't know where she came up with 25 seconds was her absolute tolerance to, uh, to, to listening to me. And uh, I, I said, well, can't I get 30? And, and I suggested that we get a fucking, uh, a, you know, that we get a little hourglass, uh, you know, that's, th you know, like you play 30 second chess with where, you know, we flip over the hourglass, she gets 30 seconds to talk, and then I flip over the hourglass, and I get 30 seconds to talk, and uh, she thought that was a pretty good idea, actually. She thought that would be a, a good way for me to practice uh, not being such a fucking mansplainer, that, uh, that, that, that she really enjoyed talking to me but she really did not care to, to sit here and, and have me go off uh, on, you know, on one of my fucking uh, monologues that she was, that she just wasn't the, you know, interested to hear my fucking monologues. So she tells me this, and, and unbelievably, I, 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 don't, I, I don't slam the thing down. So then the conversation turns. You know, it, 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 as long as we're talking about relationships, uh, and, and it, it turned to this conversation about are we being entirely honest with each other? She wanted to know. She assured me that she was being entirely honest with me, but she just, you know, I guess she was getting, <laughs> I guess she was getting some little, little suspicion that I have not been entirely honest with her. So she, she basically wanted to know what it is that I am holding back. Well, obviously, I did not want to go into the story of Dulcinea that I've been in love with another woman for four and a half years, and uh, I didn't think she wanted to hear that. So I'm thinking, okay, what have I been holding back? And so I, I said, okay, I said, do you really want to know this? She goes, yes, I really want to know this. Uh, I said, do I get more than 25 seconds? And uh, she goes, well, try to make it 25 seconds. And I said, do you know what the word doomer means? No, I'm sorry. I, I, I said, what does the word doomer mean to you? She goes, like, what? She goes, doomer? She goes, do you, you mean like, like, like doom and gloom and, and, and that end of the world stuff? And I said, yeah, exactly, exactly. What does that word mean to you? And so she goes over to Wikipedia and looks up the word doomer on, on Wikipedia and, and she's reading it uh, out to me. And, and I said, that's, that's actually... A pretty, that's a pretty decent definition of, uh, of a fucking doomer. And she still didn't know what I was talking about. And uh, she's, she's going, well, why are you talking uh, 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 about this with me? And, and I said, well, you ask what I'm holding back. And, uh, you, you know, she... I said it would take me 15 years to explain 
what I'm talking about and I only have 25 seconds. And uh, so I said, I'll tell you what. I said, uh, you know, this is the woman who uh, assured me that she would never ghost anybody uh, in her entire life. Uh, I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to send you a link, and I want you to listen to this video and let me know what you think. So this was 24 hours ago. Now, I've been gone for three hours, so uh, I don't know what I'm going to find when, when I get back uh, on my computer. And, and uh, so I sent her the link to my soft white underbelly interview. <laughs> is what I sent her to, you know, where, where, I'm, where I'm sitting on that stool and just on a rampaging, a rampaging mansplaining uh, going on for 45 minutes, this absolute, uh, you know, fucking fire hydrant of psychic puke uh, hitting her for 45 solid fucking minutes uh, about uh, telling her uh, what a fucking doomer is. And as of uh, 6 o'clock tonight, so I sent that to her at 9 o'clock last night, as of 6 o'clock tonight, uh, you know, about three and a half, four hours ago, absolutely no, absolutely no comment uh, from her. You know, I, I mean, complete flatline. Not a fucking text, not a phone call, uh, not a message from pile of fish. Absolute dead fucking silence. So, uh... <laughs> There you go. So, if you want to know how to get a, uh, how to get, a, well, not a normie, but you know what? I, if you if you want to get rid of, if you're a doomer and you want to get rid of someone uh, that you met on a dating site, uh, that would be a good way to do it. So, uh, I honestly don't know how to call it. She assured me that she did not, never has, never will ghost anybody. Now, she did tell me that uh, she had no problem ripping me a new asshole. Uh, that if I ever pulled some fucking stunt, that she had no problem ripping me a new asshole. But uh, there is no danger that uh, uh, that she would ever just disappear uh, out of out of my life. So, uh, what's your call, guys? Am I ever going to hear from this woman again, as long as I live or not? I I honestly do not know how to call this one. If I'm gonna if if I if I succeeded in getting rid of this uh, this fucking Fruit Loop. It's telling me that uh, I, 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 I want to follow you to New York, but you're not allowed to talk for more than 25 seconds. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if she uh, turned off the soft white underbelly interview after 25 seconds, if that was enough. Anyway, I think that's the end of that relationship. But uh, I did meet a, uh, a single guitar-picking, folk-singing uh, woman. She might be a little young. She's about Dulcinea's age and got a few pounds on her. She does not have a BMI of 19. Uh, but anyway, it is a start. So, uh, <laughs> she said she 
look forward to seeing me again, but she lives uh, about as far south. She lives in Dade City. She lives about as far south of the fucking picking party as I do north. So, uh, like she said, she looked forward to seeing me again at a picking party. So, uh, who knows, guys? You just got to get yourself out there. Uh, trying to uh, meet women other than pile of fish. Oh, I better pay attention to my driving because I guess I'm coming back into, uh, into civilization. And, of course, I have two drinks inside me. All right, get out there and enjoy meeting the, uh, <laughs> meeting your soulmate while you still can. I will let you know uh, whether I ever hear from this woman again on Pile of Fish. Oh, God, it sure would be nice to have some heat in this truck. It is 45 degrees uh, in this truck right now. And I have no heat. Such is the collapse of global industrial civilization. Bye, guys.